Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creative related. Today we're going over the Signal remote device and everything it has in store for us. So first of all, I'm going to show you how this device works. So if I take this remote, just like this, I pick up my weapon. Now if I eliminate this sentry, and I take the remote, and I click, it will spawn the sentry back. So now I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. So let's get right into the video. You can find this device in your creative menu in your devices tab. If you just search up signal remote, it should pop up right here, here, signal remote manager. So let's place this device down. And let's get right into the settings of it. And make sure you go to the four lines right here. Not this one, because this doesn't give you all the settings, the second one. This is really simple. There's actually only two settings on here, and then there's some functions and events. So the first one right here, enable at game start. Do you want this device, the whole device to be enabled at the game start, or do you want it just uh, not able at the game start? If you click yes, it will be enabled. And if you click no, you can automatically enable it in the function tab. You can enable and disable it. So I'm gonna keep this on for now. Next one here is cool dot cooldown time. How much time do you want them to have be between you clicking the button? Do you want it? You can have it in. You can do it instant. You can have no delay, so they can keep spamming the button, or you can have has however much delay. You can have up to an hour. I'm gonna keep mine at instant. Now let's head over to the events tab, and right here, the first thing is on primary action and on secondary fire. I don't know why this doesn't say secondary activation too, but it's okay. So let's exit out of this real quick. And I'm going to quickly place down a sentry trap just so we can test this. I'm going to place it right here. Now that our sentry is down, let's customize the sentry plate. If you don't know how to use this device, I'll link it in the iCard right up here. But I'm basically just going to set his health to one health. I'm going to set his range to five meters. And there you go. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to this device, go in the settings of it. Go back to the events tab and right here where it says on primary activation send to we're going to select a device we're going to set, select our sentry place plate that we just placed and that should automatically set it to spawn if it doesn't automatically set it to spawn you can do it in here and if you want on the secondary fire you could also make the the bot get eliminated if that is an option it's not an option for me right now i'm not sure why but let's test it click ok and yeah basically so next we have to place down a remote so i'm going to take this item placer i have for my weapon already and i'm going to copy it i'm going to remove the items from it clear items and we are going to go find the remote the remote is actually in your weapons area it's a single signal remote so we're going to have to actually grab two of these signal remotes and i'll show you why so the first one we're going to drop right into the item placer so the player can use it just like, not like that, just like this. So now our remote is in the item placer. So let's move this right next to our weapon here. And we're gonna wanna take this other remote and one thing I forgot to say is you do have to take this remote and you do have to physically drop it out of your inventory and it should get sucked up by the device just like that. So now you are on the purple remote. This will only activate purple remotes. So I'll start the game. So right here we have our weapons, let's pick that up and let's pick up our remote and now we eliminate the bot and then we go to, go over to our remote here and we click and it should spawn the bot right back in just over and over and over again just like that and that's basically it of how you use the signal remote if this video did help you out please leave a like and subscribe and yeah, if you want to support me even further, consider using code PEEPER in the Fortnite item shop. That is PEEPER, P-E-E-P-E-R. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. A sister, out.